And I guess we will have to throw somebody else into this haven. We do currently have no... Baseless in it. We know that we cleared it. But it also only has three rebels in it, so it's going to take a while of recruiting before it's suitable for anything at all. Setting course for the Indian Regional Zone. good mission. Incredibly good timer on pretty much the best mission that you can spawn in a strength 4 haven. So I'll work out. I want to like let this mission complete before I send a team to that or probably just send a team now. There's 18 hours on And get continent bonuses in Long War 2, yeah. I need to research resistance radio to unveil what they would be, which I haven't Setting done yet. For sector one. How many the regions do I plan to liberate in this campaign? Like, somewhere between 1 and 3 is pretty normal. For a legend win. If you're not, like, actively trying to do crazy stuff where you liberate way more, it's certainly possible to go crazy, but... One to three is like how many you'll get without really trying that hard. Assault Shinobi Technical Specialist and Sharpshooter. Seems good to me. Everybody's mostly equipped already. I do want to change this gun a lot though. Now we have a shard gun. This is the mag version of the shotgun. And also we have close combat specialist which really wants an expanded magazine. Take an advanced expanded magazine and advanced laser sights and I think also an auto loader. I'm gonna try to use that gun to shoot lots and lots and lots of times. Still don't have hacking. Oh my gosh two mobility speed. Um, Agility, I think. We do need one better suit of armor. And we're set to go. I'm surprised I only had one more exosuit. Anyway, this mission will infiltrate very quickly and shouldn't be too bad for this group of soldiers. What happens if you kill everything on the globe, like liberate every haven? Um, the only the only mission that can spawn is basically an invasion mission that the aliens will put on one of your havens at random. But yeah, you like stop yourself from being able to run missions, which can be a little bit awkward. Because this will still be here working on the Avatar project. So you will still eventually die you don't advance the story quests and whatever. Setting course for India. I feel like people reading over what they post in Twitch chat and thinking for a second before they press enter would take all the identity away and make chat a fundamentally different entity. Almost certainly a worse different entity too. 
is something that I would add to that. This is light strength, and we got 5 day, 22 hour. I don't desperately need to try to liberate this haven, I don't think. I might flip it to supply. thing about supply is that the retaliations against supply are not difficult missions. They tend to be very, very easy missions. And they're quick response missions, so you can take your soldiers, get experience on them, and then turn around and go do something else with relatively low risk to your soldiers. Firing your pistol with your first action no longer ends your turn. Make my Staff Sergeant Technical the worst ranger that the world has ever seen. Do it. That's how long it takes for a supply mini retail to spawn if you switch to supply. Maybe I should like do that more regularly just to get experience on my soldiers. I guess I should. I thought it would take longer. Why did it only take that long? Well. Okay, anyway. I think I want to boost infiltration on this mission. keep canning for like 14 hours or so get this done a technical with center mass executioner and hollow targeting the soldier needs a assault rifle and assault rifle And also the soldier is done, so we have a slot in the AWC for somebody else. Does the vigilance affect the time to spawn or retaliation? Yeah, it does. The higher vigilance in a region, the more aggressively retaliate stuff's going to be. Quick study on this Lance Corporal Sharpshooter. Actually, I want to just like level her to Sergeant, probably. Jorbs could be a lone wolf. Sounds about right. Zephyr's snoring. Very cute. Oh, let's just take return fire on our uh, super technical. I was hoping to get it down to extremely light. I feel like it shouldn't be impossible. Eh. Better launch before we're out of time. What's the red thing in the ocean? That is the like secret underwater alien base where they are trying to complete their project which will destroy the world. Something vaguely like that. Something approximately like destroying the world. Destroy us all! Yeah, something like that.
Cider is so sugary. Menace one five. The communications relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the targets. So, this is a liberation chain mission. Moving to designated position. Oh. Oh, Super Grenadier is here. Position confirmed. Gotta remember to switch Zoe over to a better Open shotgun. Now. now that she has close combat specialist, the red line is close combat specialist. Got some hostiles grouped over here. No problem, Therabray. It's not even me, it's the uh, mods in the channel. Doing good work. Understood. Moving out. Enemy squad located. Hey EVG, thanks so much for the sub. Appreciate that. Confirmed. Hmm. Oh, it might actually be close and personal, not close combat specialist. I think you're right, actually. Pretty sure you're right. I take control of that drone with, like... Let's get it. Having a drone on a mission is sort of nice. It takes a while for enemies to kill it sometimes, like three or four shots. It has good defense and armor. Take control of this unit for the rest of the mission 100%. Okay, so that's what I'll start my next turn with, probably. Oh, no, thanks very much for the 13 month. Appreciate all the support. Affirmative, moving out. Oh, that pod has a drone too. If I could. It has 14 health. Unethical. I might have heard mech footsteps there. We're playing Long War 2, which is not so much modded as it is a completely different game. Greetings, friend Advent Officer. Have you heard the word? Of our Lord and Savior Sharpshooter. It doesn't have 14 health anymore. They found us. grenades. It's perfect. Okay. Seems doable. Not too oh, shy. Found something here. I wonder if the Grenadier will ever kill something with cubic carry. It's, it's only a matter of time. Only a matter of time. It's a near certainty. Extra friend in the shadows. Position confirmed. It's definitely for close and personal, but conveniently, close combat specialist is exactly the same range. So, I'm 
I'm going. Got your stuff here. Not saving a full override for the mech footsteps. No. Heading out. I think a drone's pretty good. Oh. That was one tile too far. What does this do? Take a reaction shot with your pistol against any enemy that moves or attacks. Hmm. Problem is I don't think that kills stuff enough. This is my last soldier. Um, there just now. move here. Hostile targets in sight. So I've seen eight enemies so far. I think I heard a mech. Shot. <sighs> All right. Well, let's start with this. Rip him to shreds. <laughs> Target's cleared. Did not remove its cover. Probably just not cover that could be removed. Civilians counted as kills in the memorial. We certainly don't add entries for civilians in the memorial, but if you're asking if um, that adds to the soldiers' kill count, <laughs> um, yeah, maybe. I think so.
Stone to four. That's totally insane, by the way. I still have more soldiers. Oh boy. What does this do? This guy has signals the sorry. Tired of waiting around. Fire has roofed up solar panels. Welcome to the future. Okay, so the drone's just gonna solo this pod and possibly actually the entire mission. Someone said to hack the mech instead. In fairness, the drone doesn't come back to my haven with me. So, I didn't get like a full override thing out of the mission from going for the drone. But I did get the drone, and the drone's sort of Step worth it. Moving to designated position. I have it. Double Illyrium Core. I remember right, we're a little bit low on Illyrium cores, so that's nice to hit. Requesting immediate evac. Need an Illyrium core for every coil gun. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hope not. Hold tight. Moving to Overwatch. Do this. Can drone potentially get in the Sky Ranger? No, drones can't come home with us. Full override is an ability with a once permission use, yeah. Yeah, so this is the other pod. So far we've fought eight enemies. I don't know. Incredible. So far we've fought seven enemies, but we saw a drone over there. So that's eight accounted for. And then we've got some stuff here, which gets us up to somewhere between 10 and 12, depending on how many there are. Go still uh <coughs> go kill stuff in a church. He says coil rifles don't cost cores. Sounds good to me. Probably some fairly aggressive amount of um Illyrium there, right? I have Illyrium crystals each. I think I have like 70 banked though, so that will be okay. Drones are not allowed to overwatch? No wonder they, their AI is so derpy. Let's move already. Something like half of the time the correct play is to overwatch. Is there an XCOM reference as well? The wiki for this game is pretty good. I would recommend checking out the Long War 2 wiki. Position compromised. Well, I was
was wrong about the mech on the mission, it looks like. Arnok, thanks so much for the four gifted subs. Negative damage. I appreciate that. Close and personal is a lot worse. And then, uh, multi strike this turn. I always wait for reinforcement max. Yes, I'm ironically can do that. Can do that, have done that. Perhaps we'll do that again. Transfer has seven turns on it still, so that's a while away. You see stun four, you're confused why we don't always lose to drones. Drones are really good. I'm going. Their AI is very bad. So one of the reasons that I managed to survive them existing. <laughs> them, is that if they start a turn flanking you, they won't use stun. They'll shoot you instead. And the fact that they do that is, uh, Got it. tremendously helpful for not having them kill you. Come get some. This one is our drone. Oh my gosh. It poisoned the stun lancer. Oh no. Looks like some friends. Advent's funniest home videos. Going in for the kill. Getting it done. Did you see that one? Where do you want it? Another earlier aim core, an advanced suppressor. Let's like wander over here and kill that fellow. On your order. And we will have clear map. We played as advent with their abilities, the war would be over in the first week. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Is that impressive? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how impressive that is, though. Oh, we're immune to poison. Cool. So reinforcements next turn? Yes, that is what we have a clear map for. Reinforcements One next turn. Maybe the snakes actually want to switch sides so they can just help where they can without drawing suspicion. They're willing to die for that. Damn. Maybe. Covering now. 
Maybe the AI is just sort of bad. <clears throat> Did I just get a hacking PCS? That's awesome. Yeah, I think we needed one more of those. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. All right. I don't know where they are. It's killing time. If you would stop trying to shoot my drown, <laughs> that would be really appreciated. I found them. Secretly, all the aliens that the elders have taken over so far are subtly revolting and sabotaging their efforts. It makes sense. Moving to position. Like, the, the story of the other alien races is basically the same as the story of the invasion of Earth, right? The idea. Yes! Do it again. Shoot it again. They're moving to flank me. Oh. Sad. How they going, Olive? Soldier, just kick the relay over. I think it would just be sideways if you did that, but would still not be destroyed. I think that might be the issue. We have to not only kick it over, but also destroy it. Because, see, if we just kicked it over, then Advent could come back and just lift it up again. So we need to, like, put it on the bottom of a river or something. Kubikuri. Crits automatically kill enemies at less than full hit points. Regular hits do half damage. I'm coming for you. Well, it didn't kill it. But we used Kubikuri. Ready to go. So is it really a loss? I don't know. I'm going to train any size soldiers. I think it is. Like ish that we get one or two forces, might go for them right after coil Finally. moving on target location ready to rock It'd be cool if a specialist could delay around with a full action there's an officer perk that basically does that go 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 already copy that My poor, poor drone friend. Unfortunately, we have to kill it to see if it has loot. Feels bad. What is that? What is that? They painted them red? That is tremendously concerning. Yeah, we're gonna wanna finish our coil guns. stick around and fight that right now at this point in the campaign. I guess I could um, 
I could presumably kill it this turn. I could alpha strike it. But that is an advanced mech. Might be the scariest enemy that I've seen so far this campaign. There have been some pretty scary mutons. Can anyone actually kill it? Packing it in. Aha! I'm sorry, friend drone. Hostile target down. Hmm. Ready to boogie. Didn't even have loot. I did see a berserker and an archon. Firebrand returning to base. Archons are pretty dirty. Mission accomplished. So are Berserkers. I don't know. One of the things about the more advanced mechs is that mech AI is pretty deadly. And when you get a more advanced mech, all of a sudden, uh, not only is its AI deadly, but also the numbers that it has are deadly. Just kicked over the drone friend. Sure. Tell yourself that that's what I did if it makes you feel better. No Andromedons yet. Andromedons are pretty late in the game. Um, smoke grenades confer an additional 10 defense. You can defense stack really well in this game if you decide that's what you want to do. Grenades now pierce up to two points of armor and shred one additional point of armor. Your grenades and rockets do full damage to units to the maximum extent of their area of effect. The warheads? And the warheads? And the warheads? It's weird. None of these really do anything with how I've built the soldier. Oh, I forgot I had blue screen bombs on him. This is such a weird soldier. Gosh, this soldier's weird. Um, grenades area of effect is increased by one tile. Let's go tend to more heads and volatile mix later. And click on it. We have our first master sergeant. So generally at master sergeant. Go restoration. You're wrong, Dennis Moody. All right. <laughs> You're certainly not right about solving chess. Let's head to the armory. And plug this into a specialist. There's at least one specialist who's missing a hack PCS. Oh, but you're infiltrating. That's lame. Badger Clism. How long have we been playing XCOM? About an hour and a half, I think.
Did I ever put an elite scope on the super sharpshooter? I think so. Hey! That's a network tower. Okay, gotta think about this. I thought that was uh, Liberation 2 for whatever reason. So waiting for coil guns would make a ton of sense. I wish I didn't have to fly over here to look at the launch mission interface. That's dumb. Specialist, Sharpshooter, Assault, Grenadier, Shinobi. We can just send out the exact same team that we had. It's a like solid team. If I got to choose five exact soldiers for my roster, it's not what I would choose though. I think I'd go Specialist, Assault, Assault. Sharpshooter. You know, it's pretty close to what I'd pick, actually. Maybe lead the mission with the technical. We have a retaliation right now. Oh yeah, we definitely do. I should do that. <laughs> Oh, I'm not going to do that today, though. I think three missions of XCOM is a good number. Is making good progress toward finishing up the campaign. 